To find the electric flux through each surface, we're going to use this electric flux formula, which is the charge of the enclosed charged divided by epsilon naught. So let's take a look at surface number one. And surface number one is this path right here. So inside this surface, there are two charges. We have minus 2q and plus 2q. So what's kind of left out in this part equation here is this summation symbol. So you want to add up all the charges inside that surface. So let's go ahead and do that. So for S1, we have minus 2q plus positive q divided by epsilon naught. And if we simplify this, we'll get minus minus q over epsilon naught. So let's do surface 2. So the surface 2 is right here. And as you can see, these are the charges inside surface 2. Positive q and negative q. So if we go ahead and do surface 2, we have a minus q plus q over epsilon naught. It's a it's apparent that this is going to have no flux. So the answer is zero. For the third surface, we have three charges. So we have minus 2q, plus 2q, and another minus q. Oh, I said plus 2q. I meant to say plus q. So we have these three charges in here. So for surface 3, we have a minus 2q charge, plus q, and minus q all divided by epsilon naught. Now if we simplify this, we're simply left with minus 2q over epsilon naught because these will cancel. And for surface 4 right here, there are no charges inside here, so we write 0.